Hey everybody. Pretty much ever since Windows 11 was released to the public back in 2021, there's been the big debate of whether or not to install Windows 11 on a computer that does not meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. Also known here as a Microsoft Elite class minimum system requirements for Windows 11. And of course, the big debate is there because, well, those minimum system requirements prevent you from technically running Windows 11 on a lot of computers that otherwise could run it very well. And people, of course, have, some people have said, no, don't do it because Microsoft says that the computer will not receive security updates and support. And some people are like, go ahead, install it anyway because it seems to be working fine for them. Well, from my experience, of course, Windows 11, when you install on a system not meeting the Elite Class system requirements, is you will get security patches and updates for the life cycle of the build you have installed. For example, let's say if you installed version 21H2, you would have already lost support by now because support ended back on October 10th, 2023. But of course, if you're running Windows 11 version 23H2, you will receive security patches and updates until November 11, 2025. And of course, the option is to install Windows 10 or install Linux. With the release of Windows 11 23H2, we have a support lifecycle end date of November 11, 2025. What's interesting is when you look at the end of support for Windows 10, well that is October 14, 2025. So technically, if you install Windows 11 on a system not meeting the Microsoft Elite Class Minister's requirements on Windows 11, that computer will actually receive security patches and updates for roughly a month later than it would receive security patches and updates if you install Windows 10. And of course, this is taken into consideration the fact that computers not meeting the Elite Class Minimum System requirements generally do not automatically receive feature build updates. That's the one thing that they don't receive automatically. They'll receive security patches and updates for the feature build that's installed while it's in life cycle or it's in support, but when support ends, Microsoft is just, uh, they, they quietly deny the update to the next feature build that I've shown in previous videos. Um, but of course, you can, in fact, generally, you can manually install the next feature build. Um, you can do that for 23H2. Um, it remains to be seen what's going to happen with future feature builds. I think probably 24H2 might be the remaining build for Windows 11 because I think by then we'll have the next version of Windows out. So yeah, you think about it, when you have 23H2 installed on a system not meeting the Elite Class System requirements, it will actually receive security patches and updates a month late, a, a month longer than it would receive those patches if it had Windows 10 installed because of course Windows 10 support ends October 14, 2025. Windows 11 23H2 support ends November 11, 2025. Now, a year from now, I may be posting a new video um, talking about <laughs> the, the next feature build. And the thing is, um, Windows 11 supposedly will receive support for 10 years, um, provided it's only a feature build that is receiving the s support. And next year, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when Windows 11 24H2 gets released. First of all, we have to see if it can be installed on computers not meeting the Elite Class Minimum Requirements for Windows 11. And if it can run on a system not meeting those system requirements, um, we we'll have to see uh, what the support lifecycle is for that last feature build. Because you think about it, with Windows 10, the last feature build was 22H2. Whereas Windows 10, in general, will receive support until October 2025. So, in a year from now, um, it may be safe to say you can install Windows 11 on a system not meeting the Elite Class System requirements because, let's face it, there's a lot of horror out there that does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class requirements yet can run very well with Windows 11 and it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to trash that hardware simply because it does not meet those minimum requirements and it doesn't make sense to put an unsupported version of Windows, Windows 10, at the time, on a system because, oh, it doesn't meet the Elite Class requirements for Windows 11. I'm like, screw those Elite Class requirements, let's put Windows 11 on there anyway, and let's make use of that hardware. And of course, I know some of you are going to be like, 
Well, just put Linux on there. Just put Linux Mint on there. Just put Ubuntu on there. Well, the problem is the majority of software vendors write software for Microsoft Windows, not Linux. The majority of people use Microsoft Windows, not Linux. So, for the time being, we're going to have to, in order to keep existing hardware that's still usable in service uh, on a version of Windows that will receive security patches and updates and receive updates for software like Chrome and things like that. If we want to keep that hardware in use in 2026 and 2027, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to hardware such as, let's say, the first gen Ryzen or the seventh gen Intel i7 or i5 or i3 or even some older hardware. I mean, stuff like that. It makes zero sense to throw out a computer that is still perfectly usable because it does not meet those stupid elite class system requirements for Windows 11. And let's face it, when Windows 12 comes out, I'm pretty sure they're going to have an even stricter set of hardware requirements that are going to make the Windows 11 system requirements look really silly. And boys and girls, that's why I've already come up with a nickname for Windows 12's Windows system requirements. I don't even know what the system requirements are yet, but for the time being, I'm assuming they're going to be strict. Therefore, I come up with a nickname the Microsoft Premier Class Windows System Requirements for Windows 12. Because I'm pretty sure Windows 12 is going to have very specific requirements for AI based hardware. That way they can shove AI down our throats if you want to go buy a new computer. So I'll be talking about that in a later video. Um, I have my own personal opinions about AI. So that being said, I did want to make this video because, uh, you know, the simple fact that Windows 11 23H2 will receive security updates longer than the latest available build of Windows 10 22H2, which is support in October 2025. I mean, Windows 11 23H2 will receive security patches and updates for a month longer. And also, let have to keep in mind that the next feature build of Windows 11, which I'm guessing is going to be 24H2, will probably be in an with package like Windows 11 23H2. Therefore, you may be able to install it without having to do an in-place upgrade installation of the OS. And I'm going to be talking about that with 23H2 here in a soon to be shot video. So anyways, um, if you're selling computers that don't meet the Elite Class Minister requirements, which of course are the Windows 11 system requirements, is what they really are. Um, so in previous videos, in reference to installing Windows 11 on systems not meeting the Microsoft Elite Class system requirements for Windows 11, um, my advice was install Windows 10 on those computers because, let's face it, before Windows 11 23H2, um, Windows 11 would end support earlier. And if I look back at the list, 22H2 would end support October 8, 2024, whereas Windows 10 support is until what, October 2025. So. Yeah, the previous argument was put Windows 10 on there so that way it would get support for an additional year, but now that argument has kind of flipped around in the opposite direction. Now Windows 11 will receive support longer than Windows 10. And, of course, again, mentioning the fact that um, if, if it's a computer that you sell, um, I mean, you want it to receive security patches and updates as long as, as, long as possible. Um, so I think now it's like, okay, screw those system requirements, put Windows 11 on any, anyway. And if you sell a computer not meeting the Elite Class System requirements, notify the customer that the computer does not meet the Windows 11 system requirements. However, you've done testing to confirm that Windows 11 runs okay on that system. But you will need them to come back in a year to uh, install the latest feature build. And I think Windows 11 24H2 will be the last feature build of Windows 11. So once we get Windows 11 24H2 out, it's going to be like Windows 7. It'll continue to get support until the official end of support, which for Windows 11, I think, will be in 2031. So, yeah. That might be the way to keep some of this older but still usable hardware in service. And that's one of the big emphasis on this on this channel is I don't focus a whole lot on the brand new stuff. I cover um, a little bit of older stuff, and I just... I try to emphasize how usable older stuff can still be. I mean, we don't all need uh, Ryzen 9s and Core i9 to do our web browsing and stuff like that. I mean, the Core 2 Quad, <laughs> for example, could still handle some of those tasks. Now, the Core 2 Quad is pretty old. Um, 
But there's a lot of hardware out there. For example, those Optiplex 390s I have, those Optiplex 390 systems are very capable machines. Um, even though they are, what, 10 years old now? They were made in 2012. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. So anyways, I did want to shoot this video. Now, of course, um, this information is just for educational purposes only. Um, I should note again that Microsoft does not support installing Windows 11 on systems that don't meet their middle system requirements, as I call their elite class system requirements. So, by doing this, I mean, you take responsibility for doing it. Um, you should definitely notify the customer. If you're, selling, if you're selling a computer to a customer of Windows 11 not meeting the system requirements, you should notify that customer of that. It's that way they're aware of it. So, anyways, the rest are for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified of new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends. And get the word out. Also, I have a second channel. That's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.